Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a part two for return to play for our stay at home Frankston Blues programs and we're going to be focusing on getting your ankles and your calves and your Achilles nice and strong as we return to sport. Most of today's videos are quite simple and easy to follow but if you do have any questions feel free to read the program which is attached to the stay at home hub on the Frankston website or get in contact with the club and send through any questions you've got. You won't need any equipment for today. All you need is your body weight and one really simple mini band like we used in our other video. If you don't have one of these, as I said, they can be purchased either uh, through Kmart or through our friends at Potential Sports Medicine. And very soon, uh, the house boys at Frankston will have these in stock as well. Our first exercise today is a bit of a stretch to loosen up any tension that we might be holding through our hamstrings, our lower back and through our calves. So what we're going to do is find a wall or a door. We're going to lie down on our back and put our feet up nice and high on the wall. The next part of the exercise is we're going to alternate between tucking our chin and lifting our ankles as so. So two parts to it. What we're going to do is a few where we go neck up, tuck our chin, neck down. Neck up, tuck our chin, neck down. The second part, we're going to flex our ankles and then point our toes. Flex our ankles, point our toes. The third part, what we're going to do is do it both together and tuck our chin and flex our ankles, point our toes and lower our head. Tuck our chin to our chest, flex our ankles, point our toes to the back of the sky. When you're doing this exercise, you might find a bit of a stretching feeling both your hamstrings, through your calves and through your lower back. And it's a really nice gentle way to stretch out your whole body. If you do find any pain in this exercise though, stop right away. Our next sequence is a two part calf stretch. Now some of you may know there's two muscles in the calf. The gastroc, which is quite high up and it's a really big round muscle behind, uh, behind our, our thin shin. The second muscle is the soleus, which just runs down the outside about halfway down. And we're going to stretch both of those out today. Firstly, to stretch out our gastro, what we're going to do is have our legs straight and pop our mini band around our ankle. So what we're going to do like so, with our knee, knee fully straight, we're going to point our toe and then pull back and stretch. Point our toe, pull back and stretch. Now what's a really good idea is to do this quite slowly, then hold back here for 10 to 15 seconds and then point your toe for 10 to 15 seconds to relax. Pull back for 10 to 15 seconds, stretch out through your calves, and you'll feel this right up behind your knee, and then point your toe and relax. Part two, we're gonna do with a bit of a bent leg now, which is gonna work a different muscle. So you're gonna, same thing, point, point our toes, pull back and stretch. Point our toes, and then pull back and stretch. And you'll feel this one a little bit different just down the outside of your uh, calves and on the outside of your shin there. Same sort of thing with the exercise, take it really gently. And if you do feel any pain, it's a really good idea to stop straight away and contact our friends at Potential Sports Medicine for some physio advice. If you don't have a band with, with this one, feel free to either, if you have the flexibility, use your hands, or you can get mum or dad or a guardian at home to help you with the stretch. Our third stretch today is gonna to be very similar to our first one. We're gonna stretch out through our hamstrings and through our calves at the same time. For this one, you're just going to need either a door or a wall. And what we're going to do is get our big toe and place it up against the door or the wall. Once you've done that, you can stick your bum backwards and lean forward, or just keep your big toe on the wall and you'll feel the stretch from your hamstring right down to the back of your calf. Again, 10 to 15 seconds, stand up and relax. Second time, try and lift your toes a bit higher up on the wall and lean back, make the stretch a little bit tougher again. Stand up and relax. Third time through, try and push your toes as high as you can towards the wall, get a really good calf stretch, lean back and stick your bum out, and you feel the stretch from the bottom of your calves, behind your knee, all the way up through your hamstrings. Really importantly during these stretches, that you take some nice deep breaths and relax the muscles to try and minimize any tension. Now for our calf raise walks, we're gonna to start to use some space to really get our calf muscles nice and strong and work on our strength and mobility. So for this one, you'll need anywhere from five to 10 meters of space. 
Or if you don't have that, you can achieve the same thing on the spot in one or two meters and just repeat the same space over and over again. So, as per the notes in the program, we're going to go through what's called a full gait cycle, which means we're going to have our heel touch the ground, roll through onto the flats of our feet, then push up, up onto our toes, just like we're about to jump or sprint. So, watching that motion again, we're going to step forward with our heel touch the ground, roll onto your flat foot, then up onto your toes, squeezing at the top. As I said, you'll likely want to do this in five to 10 meters of space, so you can keep taking one step after the other and roll through it. However, if you're quite limited for space or you happen to be in isolation right now, you can go right leg, plant to heel, flat foot, raise, step back, plant to heel, left foot, and raise. As you get really confident and comfortable with that exercise, the best way to progress it is try and hold that calf raise for two to three seconds and then reset your rep. So your first rep might be step, flat, raise, and that's you get more comfortable. Step, flat, raise, one, two, three. Once we've done our walking, we're gonna actually move to some calf raises now. I'm sure you're all familiar with the traditional calf raise where you're leaning on the wall and lifting up and controlling down. So just for something different, what you need for this one is either a stool, maybe some steps around the house, or you can use a nature strip on the curb as well. What we're going to do is two calf raises here. First one, we're gonna do a bent leg calf raise, which works that soleus muscle we spoke about earlier. Putting your pressure on your front leg, you lift up, push really through your toes quite hard, and then raise back down. Push up through your toes, squeeze that calf, and then control down. Once you've done that with both legs, you can stand up on your stool or on your nature strip, and with a little bit of balance, we can work through a full range of motion now with a straight leg calf raise. So stretching right out, coming up and squeezing on your toes, and slowly controlling down, stretching our calf all the way at the bottom, slowly coming up, squeezing at the top, and then controlling down. The difference in these two strength exercises is when we have our leg on the step at single leg, we're gonna work our outside calf muscle, which is quite small. The second one, when we're standing on the curb and doing our straight leg ones, we're gonna work that nice, big, strong muscle at the top of our leg, which is the gastroc. And finally, for our last exercise, we're gonna do what's called a plantar fascia massage. The plantar fascia is that little web that runs underneath your foot that sometimes gets quite sore and you might end up get orthotics or strap the bottom of your feet while you're playing. To help strengthen and also stretch that uh, fascia out, you can get any ball around the house. It can be a cricket ball, a tennis ball, or like today, I've pinched a golf ball off dad, which I'm going to use. This one can be either done in your warm up or nice and simple to finish your exercise. What you're gonna do is find a seat, pop that ball in the arch of your foot, and just as you can see here, give it a bit of a wiggle around, and try and find any spots that might seem really sore. Once you find a spot that's quite sore, take a few deep breaths, really slow down and relax it, and then move on to your next one. Really importantly with this one, you go from your toes, to the ball of your foot, to the arch of your foot, right down to your heels, get some circles, go front to back, and make sure you move around and get all of that area of your foot covered. As I mentioned earlier, this can either be done first as part of a warm up, or it can be done at the end as a bit of a massage to finish your training. Really important that we look after our feet, our calves and our ankles as we return to sport to make sure we get healthy, happy, lower body um, and ankles. And then obviously more time on court, the more fun we can have and then we return to the house of blues as soon as we can.